Everybody, welcome back to the Iron Oak Sawmill. This is video, I guess it's called this video number three for these pallets. Uh, we're gonna do today is actually start putting them together. Follow me over here, Doug. Remember from one of our last videos, or one of the early videos, we cut the, the uh, full dimension two by fours. And we, unfortunately, when we cut them, uh, the day after we cut them, someone called us and said, hey, I need some two by fours to build a small structure. We sold 12 of them, was it? We sold yes. 12 of them. And uh, so now we're down to building, we can build three pallets. But hey, I know a guy with a solar mill can cut us some more, so <laughs> we'll do that. Uh, over here, we've got all of our slats. Um, white oak in the front, red oak in the back. We were gonna put all white oak on the bottom and then red oak on the top. We're gonna put white oak on the bottom and if we need some for the top, we will. We're gonna have to cut more of these though, we do not have enough. Deb and I, mostly Deb, took time out yesterday to cut all the two by fours down to eight and a half feet and the uh, five quarter by fives down to four feet. and get laid out here and turn around here and see what we got. We're gonna do is need a flat surface so we have our stack of uh, lumber pallets over here. And we're going to uh, set up on top of here, It'll be easy to do, and uh, start getting them nailed up. We're gonna do the bottoms first, putting the white oak on the bottom. I think we're gonna use five of them on the bottom and that's all. We'll flip it over, nail, I believe it's 10 pieces of slats on the top, and it's done. We'll bring the tractor in and pick it up because it's gonna weigh Quite a bit. Not going to be as heavy as the other ones, but it's going to be heavy. All oak. And these are going to last for a long time. Don't have to mess around with looking for more pallets. Let's go and get started. All right, so we're laying out the bottom here for the first pallet. Of course, the, the uh, five quarter by fives on the ends. And then we split this up evenly. We've got one in the center there, and then one in the center of each one of these spaces. So you've got five evenly spaced across the bottom. That works out great for our lumber skids. It should work out great for our uh, firewood skids as well. So let's go ahead and get these nailed down, get it flipped over and get started. Air narrow makes quick work of that, doesn't it? Had that framing nailer for quite a few years and it comes in handy, especially building these pallets. Let's get and get this flipped over and uh, get started on the top. Ready? It's gonna go bang. That wasn't too bad. All right, so we got it flipped over. We got, we're gonna start with our end boards here. And we're going to do a layout, uh, try to get them as evenly spaced as possible. At this point, uh, three and three quarter inch blocks in between give us about the same measurement all the way down until you get to the center gap. I think it's four and a half, something like that. So close enough for us for stacking wood on. 
that one wider slot is not going to make any difference. So let's go ahead and get started. Go down the LD end. There you go, one heavy duty, real heavy duty <laughs> firewood pallet. Um, they did a nice job on the air nailer. That's the first time you had did an air nailer, isn't it? I'm not sure. I but think it is. I did you pretty good. Used, you never used the framing nailer that I'm aware of. But uh, we're going to go ahead and run the, the nails down the center here. Call this one done. Lay up the next one and get uh, get that one together too. So there's one firewood pallet complete. We got two more to put together. Uh, shouldn't take very long now that we have all of our uh, spacers figured out. Should be able to lay it up, knock it out in a hurry. Let's get going. Lighter than that.
Well, everybody, that'll wrap it up here at the Iron Oak Sawmill. Three over engineered firewood pallets. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's us. We have the ability to make our own. We make the size we want, the strength we want. We're not going to have to mess with these for years to come. Um, they can just plunk on the ground and uh, load them up with firewood each year. We don't have to worry about it. Um, it's a good thing. Well, you, like we said in the beginning of the video, we did sell off or get rid of um, 12 of these uh, runners, the two by fours, which was fine because we did these three and we're actually too short for the next one. So we wouldn't have had a near enough slats for it. So we've got to be cutting some more of those. So we'll, we find some short, lower quality logs or some off cuts from something we're doing here, maybe a tapered piece. We'll get what we can for it. But uh, right now, I think these three will, will Last pretty long. What do we got? Locusts put in there. We got uh, ash and some. We need another cherry pallet. So yeah, yeah definitely got a, another cherry pallet. We got a lot of locusts to do. There's probably two cords of locusts over here to split. Uh, hey, we're looking at 24,000. What 500 subs right now? Subscribers so. right now. Uh, fast approaching that 25,000 mark. We've got to get. We're going to be doing a. Uh, I think we want to do a live stream on that. We're going to be having some giveaways. Some. Uh, just some good chat between uh, you folks and ourselves, maybe some question and answers, whatever you guys want to do. But we want to definitely uh, interact a little bit more with you guys uh, that are tuning in here to the channel and supporting us every week. So keep an eye out for the upcoming videos of us filling these up. We've got some good pallets to uh, work with now and we've got plenty of firewood to split. So we'll be seeing some splitting videos coming up. We got definitely have some sawmill videos coming up. We got some red oak and white oak sitting right behind the camera over here. We've still got that locust log still hanging out next to the mill. We keep bypassing it and bringing other stuff in that we need to do first. And I think we're going to have some poplar coming up again, too. Yeah, we too. just got another order. Yeah, we got a load of uh, eight big poplar logs. Um, and we've already got some some folks that want to use them for some siding, barn siding, and uh, barn flooring. So uh, we're going to be busy. So um, if you have any questions about what we're doing here at the sawmill, how we're running the mill, uh, any of the equipment we're using, be sure to put it down in the comments section. We'd be glad to help you out. And as always, thanks everybody for stopping out. And we'll see you at our next time. Take care, everybody.